Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to start with one of the most interactive activity that is fun with distance sensor. In this activity we will come across that how a distance sensor can be interfaced step by step. So let's start the activity. The first step for the activity is to arrange the required component. So as we can see we have total 8 components which we need for this activity and the first component is LED. So LED is the light emitting diode and it is an output device and it is used here to indicate the glowing factor. A second component is buzzer. It is also an output device and it is basically used here to create a beep sound as an indication. The third component is OLED display also known as organic light emitting diode most commonly used in television screen, computer monitor and smartphone. A fourth component is distance sensor. So this is one of the important component of this activity because this time we are using distance sensor to calculate the distance between the sensor and the object in front of it. So basically we will get the range between the sensor and the object with the help of this distance sensor. The fifth component is brain and it is used here to sense, think and act and to understand the user logical thinking which can be interpreted via coding. Our fifth component is 3 pin connector and 4 pin connector. So these connectors are used here to connect the device with the brain. And the last component is power bank and it is used here to provide a power supply to turn on the connected device on the brain. In our step number 2, now we are going to connect the components. So first of all, we will connect our distance sensor. So for connecting the distance sensor, we should have the distance sensor module. It looks like this and distance sensor. So we'll interface it like in this way. So this is how it looks after connecting. We'll put it here for a meanwhile. The second thing is we need to connect the LED with the brain. So this time I am taking the LED on D6. So I'll be taking this 3 pin connector. It looks like this. Let's connect the first end on D6 pin of the brain and the second on the LED. It got connected. It seems like this. Now the third, we will connect the buzzer and buzzer I am taking it on 6 9 pin. So I will connect the first end of the 3 pin connector on the buzzer and the second end to the D9 pin of the brain. Then we have to connect the OLED. So for this we need to have the 4 pin connector. The first end I will insert it here and the second and the second end I will insert over here. So why I have inserted because OLED itself is having a particular pin setup on the brain. So that's why we are taking it here. It's a sensor, so let's connect it. So for this also we will be using 4 pin connector. We need to connect the first end over here like this and the second end on this pin like this. So our connections are ready now. Let's power up the brain. To power up the brain, we need a micro USB cable. So this is a micro USB cable. I'll insert the first end in the power bank and the second end I will insert here. So once you'll insert. In our last step, we are going to build the code and learn that how to code the activity. So in order to proceed, first of all you should have a Tinker Orbit mobile application. It seems like this. So once you will click on this, so it seems like there is no code on the screen. The workspace is empty right now. So we need to create the logic for our activity. So let's understand the logic, what logic we want for this activity. The thing is first of all we should read the real time values value of the sensor on our OLED. To have that thing, first of all we will be clicking on output. So in output we have the block of OLED display text set 1. We want the sensor value on the OLED. Instead of text we need to integrate the distance sensor. So let's click on sensor. As you can see in last it is given the block of read distance on distance. So I will be replacing this text with the read distance like this. 
and let's first send this code and try to read the real time values because ultimately what we have to do we have to arrange our values according to the real time values so the real time value which is coming on this on it to the sensor is around 8000 or 9000 approx so we need to adjust this value logically to turn on the buzzer and to turn on the led so let's start so for this thing we will first of all take the if condition go to logic take the if condition and here we need to compare the true condition so for that thing we need to have a comparison operator we will duplicate this thing and put it and after that we will compare the real value so right now what I want that uh, till the time being like if there will be nothing in front of the sensor so LED will keep on glowing and if there will be anything in front of the sensor so the LED will stop glowing and the buzzer will start beeping so that's my logic which I need to create first of all you need to put the real time values so the real time value which is coming you can consider it near about 8000 and it should be less than means till 8000 the LED will keep on glowing and after when the values will get reduced by, by some object in front of it so the buzzer will start beeping so let's put the LED on condition so LED is on D6 and to turn it on we have to make it high so high means on and on the same in the same part we have to make the buzzer off because we don't want that in the same condition the buzzer will also work buzzer is on pin number 9 and you need to select the low condition for the buzzer okay. now now to increase the condition we need to click on gear option so why i am using else if here so else if means if this condition of it will keep on working so it will keep on going the energy and if the condition will go down from the, from 800 so the buzzer beeping will start so for the else we will be again taking this i am making the led low and i will make the buzzer high so it's done let's put the condition also you can take it from like put it here it means below to 800 the buzzer will be so the buzzer is getting time okay. let's see whether the logic will work or not so in order to that first of all we have to send the code in the brain so we have this option play option already my brain is connected to the application now i will click no automatically this code will go into the page as you can see code got uploaded and when when there will be any object in front of the sensor distance sensor then the led will stop glowing and the buzzer will start beeping but once i'll replace the hand so again the led will start glowing and buzzer will stop beeping similarly once i once i'll do again you can see So this is how our distance sensor works. I hope you enjoyed this activity. Keep tinkering, keep learning.